Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and wow do I have a massive Kmart haul for you today. I think this is literally the biggest haul I've ever done and I picked up so many incredible things that were really, really affordable and it's basically just for a whole bunch of different areas in my house and a couple of different styling ideas that I really wanted to share with you guys. So just a quick reminder, if you are new here, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I put up new videos every single week and I have a lot of other Kmart hauls over on my channel so if you want to keep watching those you can head over there. So let's get into everything that I picked up. I think you guys will absolutely love these items because I really do and it's just made such a difference to a couple of areas in my home. So the first thing that I picked up were some new glasses. I got these Bond highball glasses, which are kind of like that crystallized cocktail bar looking cups. And they're pretty generous as you can see, like it's pretty much the size of my hand. And this is to replace some old tumblers I had. I had a real mix of plastic ones and other glass ones, but I really love the look of these. I have a bar cart in my house and I've got wine glasses that I picked up at an op shop, which have like the same old fashioned kind of looking thing. So I really wanted that so that it's really nice when I'm even just drinking a glass of water or if I have some guests over that my house feels a little bit fancier. And it did come in a pack of six and I think it was only $12. So incredibly affordable if you are in the need of some more glasses even at the bottom of them is really nice as well it's kind of got this star pattern on it so would definitely recommend these they feel like really good quality and they do stack together which is obviously helpful for shelf space the next item I picked up, I have been hunting down for the longest time for all of my indoor plant babies, like this one behind me, and that is the plant mister. I wanted this because obviously it is a useful item since I can go around and mist my plants instead of just like tipping water into all of them, but also because it's so aesthetic. It's just such a cute, again, kind of a little bit old fashioned looking piece of home decor, and I really love that. So it's just like a little pump bottle down on the top here so that you can kind of like get the mist out but I love this I think it was only five dollars it's literally just called the plant mister it is a glass bottle as well so it's really nice quality and this is just to complement the little watering can which I almost uh, sorry also picked up at Kmart and it just makes watering all of your indoor plants a lot easier because like I said, you don't want to drown all of them in a lot of water. Some of them just need a really light mist, especially little ones like succulents. So this will come in really handy. And I was so glad that they still had it in stock because I'm pretty sure I first saw those in Kmart about two years ago now. So the next item I picked up is a new pizza tray. They do have a cheaper one, but I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't get that one straight up. And that is because this one has more holes in it and it actually makes the bottom of your pizza base crispy. Whereas a different one that I had, it's got far less holes and I already have one like this, but I just bought the second one. I don't know, I must have just been in store sometime and it sucks. You can definitely tell when I do pizza night and there's two pizzas in the oven, the one that's on the tray with the more holes in it always cooks better. So definitely grab this if you're looking to do some homemade pizzas. They are my absolute favorite weekend food and it's so much cheaper than getting takeaway and also a little bit healthier as well. The next item I picked up is another one for styling up a little area of my house and it's just to get rid of like the typical hand wash kind of bottles in a bathroom. Not that I have a problem with those but I guess I have a few kind of Aesop products and things in my bathroom and I really like the look and feel of those but I'm not about to run out and spend like $35 on hand soap so I do just buy hand soap from Thank You and I'm going to place it into this soap bottle. I noticed these were online and they're quite new so it just says soap dispenser from the glass collection and it's in a really nice good quality glass bottle with a nice black lid. Now this this little bit on the front is not a tag or a label or anything like that. It's actually kind of like embossed on the bottle. So if you were thinking you could get this and peel it off, unfortunately you won't be able to do that. But I think it's really cute. And also you can just turn it around if you're not really a big fan of that bit either. But I think it's also really helpful to have hand soap in a clear bottle so you can tell when it's about to run out. 
The next item I picked up is a boring one, but an essential, and it's just a new toilet roll holder. I have to lean back to show you because it's so big, but I got it in this kind of silvery chrome color to match the rest of the decor and items in my bathroom. And simply because it is far sturdier than a lot of the other ones that I've had in the past, which continue to break. And it's just something really annoying that I don't want to have to keep spending money on. So I think this one was literally about $4 and it's just called the Chrome Toilet Roll Holder. So if you're looking for a quick and easy sleek solution, I would definitely recommend grabbing one of those. The next item I picked up is something that I already have one of in the house, but I couldn't resist buying another one because it is just too pretty to use. And that is this decorative candle. This is in lemonade and nectarine blossom. So this is in the most beautiful glass container. And I just thought it was a really great piece of home decor. And then this is the candle inside. So yeah, it's a really, really beautiful one if you kind of keep it separate or obviously together. But I really wanted another one while they were still in stock because, like I said, once you burn it, it's gone. And I really wanted to have that container sitting around my house. The next item I picked up is something that I'm going to do a little bit of a DIY project with, and that is this bottle. So I got three of them in total because they were $3 each. So it is an oil pourer kind of bottle thing for the kitchen. And the reason I got three is because I'm going to have olive oil, balsamic vinegar and white wine vinegar. And I want to have these with the labels down the front. So I found a lady on Etsy, which is kind of like a little um, homemade kind of website. And for $9, including postage, I've got these beautiful like writing kind of labels that I'm going to put on it. So I will leave a link to her shop down below if you're interested in finding them. There is plenty of people on there that do that kind of thing as well. And I think she had about 15 different font types that you could choose from. So the one that I picked is a little bit kind of calligraphy looking, if you will, but there's also like capital letters and bold fonts and all sorts of stuff. So I just thought this would be a lot nicer than having like those stock standard like balsamic or olive oil bottles like sitting on my bench because obviously they're just in the packaging they came in from Woolworths or whatever brand they are. And I just think this looks a lot cleaner and a lot more aesthetic. The next item I picked up is a newbie in store and I really liked it. I thought it was very cute and it is this bottle for fabric softener. So it's got a nice bamboo lid which has a little piece of string so you can pull it out. I will say it doesn't feel super airtight but I don't think that's really important for fabric softener anyway but I'm just letting you know if you tipped it over it would probably fall off and spill. Um, but this was only a couple of dollars. It just has the word soften on the front of it in black font. And I'm going to fill this up with my laundry liquid. Again, I can kind of clearly see when it's going to run out. But also, again, I just think it looks way more aesthetic than having the standard plastic bottle or whatever they come in. And also I can buy some larger sizes as well, which is just better for the environment overall if I'm buying in bulk and not constantly having a bunch of small plastics that I'm throwing out. And that way I can just refill this one constantly. The next item I picked up was some new gym gear. We are still kind of in summer here in Australia. So I wanted to get some bike shorts and it's super hard to find bike shorts that are flattering. I just feel like they kind of all look a little bit wrong and awful. And every time I've ordered some online or tried someone in store, I just really didn't like how they looked on me and I ended up wanting to send them back. But I was very surprised to find these ribbed bike shorts. I have to actually put the leg back in it because I wore them this morning and I wore them because I am keeping them. I love them. They are called the ribbed bike short. It's going to be quite difficult to show you, but you can kind of see that they've got this ribbing material on them and they have quite a tight, high waisted elastic waist. And they are a bit longer in the leg, even on me, and I am five foot 11, so I'm definitely not short. And I thought they were just the perfect length. So I guess if you're a little bit shorter, they might be almost like down to the knee or something. But for me, they just sat really comfortable mid thigh. 
they fit me perfectly but i will say i know normally in active wear like you usually go a size down so you know if you're normally a size 10 or medium you would pick a small but in this case just pick your exact true size so in these i got a size 10 and they fit me perfectly i definitely would not be able to fit a small or an eight in Kmart because they really do structure them to typical Australian sizing, I guess, but they are great. I already wore them this morning to Pilates and they're really nice and lightweight. And I think they were only $15 or something. So an absolute bargain if you need to find the perfect pair of bike shorts that won't break the bank balance. The next item I picked up is something that I have wanted for a little while and that is a pair of white sneakers. So I got these ones called the white fly knit sneakers and these are made from recycled materials and manufactured using recycled materials. This is what the sole looks like. Again, I think I've said this in previous hauls, but I always size down for my shoes in Kmart. So I'm normally a size 10, but in Kmart shoes, I wear a size nine. And these are just really flexible feeling. They're only just for doing walks. So they're a little bit more of a fashion thing for me than a actual running shoe or anything like that. I've got a different pair of New Balance ones, which are my actual exercise ones. But these ones I just wanted for getting around in or going for walks if I had an outfit that I really want to do kind of white socks and white shoes with. So they were only $25, which I think is really good value. And it's nice to see that they are using some recycled materials as well, because obviously that is better for the environment. The next item I picked up, this just goes on and on, but I did quite a bit of a shop. So the next item is this pink pillow and it is kind of like a bolster shaped pillow, I guess. And it's just to go on my bed to kind of bring a little bit of color back in. I went very black and white and muted tones in my bedroom decor. And while I do really love that, and I think it simplifies my entire house and doesn't make it too busy, it is starting to feel a little bit stark. And I am a fan of bringing in one feature color to give a little pop to the room. So picked up this little pillow. I think it was about $7 and it is super cute. It's kind of like a velvety sort of feel. And I just think the tone is really nice. It's kind of like a dusty pink. So not as intense as having a red and not as girly as having a pink. So this was the perfect one for me. And I really just like the size and that it's a little bit of a different shape. And also these are really good if you're just laying around reading a book or something because you can prop it behind your head and use it as a neck pillow. So if you're looking to update your decor and you want something cute like this this would even look really great out on a couch if you had a few of them as well so yeah i would recommend having a look at the new cushion selection they've got as well now the final item is something i was really excited to get my hands on and they have actually done a pretty good copy um, of this one compared to the previous fitness watch that they brought out and that is this, which is called the Smart Fitness Watch. It's essentially an Apple uh, watch ripoff, I guess, at a very, very discounted price. So this was $45, I think. And it's got a 1.3 inch color display screen, low energy Bluetooth, a gallery of clock faces. It's waterproof. It's got eight modes of sport. So there's walking, running, cycling, swimming, skipping, badminton, basketball, and football, built-in heart rate monitor, deep sleep monitor, blood pressure, and blood oxygen. It also displays SMSs, calls, and app notifications. So quite literally does pretty much everything that the Apple Watch does. It looks very similar to the Apple Watch in the way that the band and the face of it is designed. And I don't know 100% if I will keep this yet. I'm going to try it and see if I like it. And if not, I will return it. But the idea behind this was I really want an Apple Watch, but they are, I think, about $600 or something. So prior to making a giant investment like that in something that is just kind of going to be my new toy for a little while and then I'll get really bored of it, I thought I would try this one out, see if I like it. And if I do and it's good, maybe I'll just end up keeping this one. But if not, then I might start considering if I want to get the Apple Watch instead. So yeah, I am really excited to try this. I exercise about five to six times a week and I used to have a body heart rate monitor thing that like straps on around your chest, but it was super uncomfortable and I was just really conscious of it 
when I was working out and I just found it really annoying and restrictive. So I am definitely looking forward to having this and I think it'll make it a lot easier for doing something like a 10,000 step challenge because you don't always have your phone with you. So steps that you can get off the health app and things aren't exactly accurate because it's obviously not tracking your every movement. Whereas this I would happily wear at the gym and it will be able to track my heart rate without feeling really restricted. Like it's giving me a squeeze around the ribs like the MyZone ones do. So. That is it for today's haul. I got so much stuff, but it's such a variety of different things. And I'm really looking forward to placing all of these items around my home and making it come to life a little bit more. I hope that you really enjoyed this haul. And as always, I will link all of the items down below if you're interested in getting your hands on them as well. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.